Hi, this is Dr. Stephen Bach. Today I'm going to talk about coronavirus and the immune system and its implications for Lyme patients in terms of their immune system. So what is coronavirus? It's part of the SARS a virus family and it's SARS-CoV-2. And the illness is COVID-19. And uh, what is it? It's a coronavirus that causes respiratory symptoms, which can be fever, cough, shortness of breath, some myalgias, some diarrhea. And its general incubation is five to 14 days. It started in China. And in fact, there was probably about a 5% mortality in China because it was a closed space, closed province. And the health workers were working overtime, not sleeping, and had a decreased immune system. So there was increased mortality. There were about 80,000 cases so far by the end of February with about 2,700 deaths. So that comes out to about 1% to 2% mortality. So um, why is it important for Lyme patients, as well as other people? But uh, Lyme patients have decreased T cells, decreased B cells, and decreased natural killer cells. In other words, their immune systems are uh, under the gun and they're, they're lowered. So what happens with uh, your immune system? Well, when you get a virus like coronavirus, the virus comes into your body and usually settles on the epithelial or the lining cells of, in this case, your respiratory tract or your lung. The first thing your immune system does is send a cell called a macrophage, which is also, you may hear the expression, antigen-presenting cell. This gobbles up the viral infected cells, uh, digests them, takes the marker for the virus and sends it to your T cells. T cells of your immune system then signal your B cells, which form antibodies to fight the virus, and your natural killer cells, which go and gobble up uh, viruses when they, when they see them. So this is how your immune system should function. Now, what determines that functioning? Number one thing when something like this could be an epidemic or either localized or even worldwide is you need to get sleep because your immune system regenerates itself when you sleep eight hours or more. If you sleep continuously five to six hours, you're sleep deprived and your immune system is going to be under the gun. The other thing that can infect your immune system is eating sugar. If you take 50 grams of sugar and measure your immune system for three to four hours after, your immune system indicators will be 50% less. So that's an important thing. The other thing can be stress. We're all under stress, so it's really important to handle your stress, uh, meditate, take certain supplements to relax your body, your sympathetic and parasympathetic are two branches of your nervous system. Your sympathetic is your fight or flight, and that goes into action as if you're meeting a saber-toothed tiger in the jungle when we were prehistoric, and your parasympathetic is healing. You need to do all things to uh, nurture the parasympathetic, which could be meditation, relaxation, other things that stimulate the healing of your body through the vagus nerves are laughter, um, and things like that. So it's, it's important because you can get very anxious about something that could be an epidemic, which you really have no control over other than uh, doing things like washing your hands, keeping your hands away from your nose or eye or mouth if you have contact. Um, and if you go in an airplane or in a crowded space, Take wipes and wipe down the back of the airplane seat, the seat if you go in the bathroom, so that you minimize your contacts. Also, cover your mouth when you cough and try and stay out of as much as possible any area that's going to be uh, crowded with people to minimize your contact. But like I said before, the things that you can do to help your immune system are in your power. You can worry about the infection in a lot of different ways, but you have the power to take actions for your immune system. First being sleep, second being what you eat, third being stress. I hope this has been helpful. Have a good afternoon. Thank you.